Hello and welcome to this guided meditation for the new moon of April. I hope you are well and um, it's also a it's a solar eclipse today as well. Obviously it won't be visible everywhere in the world. I think it's mostly going to be visible in in Northern America, in the States, Canada and Mexico. So um, there's lots of lunar energy going on today and uh, and the moon the phases of the moon eclipses have always been recognized as significant by many many spiritual traditions and as ever here we are to meditate maybe you'd like to set some intentions maybe you, you have a, a notebook nearby where you can journal write about anything that comes up or trusting your intuition just letting it flee flee free a flu and um and then if you wish if it's safe to do so you can burn it and let those intentions go and then trust the universe to work its magic and of course the time of the new moon and the full moon is when that magnetic energy that it is is stronger and powerful and we can see that on the effect that it has on nature you know farmers would traditionally plant their seeds at the time of the full moon you can see it in the tides that they are they come in higher and go out further at the time of the new moon and the full moon and i'll definitely be going for a walk on the beach at low tide later because it's going to be going out a long long way and i love it when it's like that into the big expanse of sky so i've talked enough now <laughs> get into a comfortable position turn off any distractions and make sure that you're not going to be disturbed and know that by doing this practice it's not just for your benefit but it benefits the world and when we we raise our vibration we raise the vibration of those around us and when we start acting more intentionally with more kindness and compassion, it makes the world a better place for everybody because we don't need more anger and more hate and more anxiety. We can't change the world from, from those low vibrational places. Well, not in a positive way anyway. So if there's things going on that we don't like, we get upset and anxious about them. It doesn't change that situation. It only makes us more upset and anxious and it doesn't help anybody. So anyway, if you're in a comfortable position, make sure your, your back's straight. Um, I happen to be kneeling today on my meditation stool and it tilts my pelvis forward slightly and, um, and enables my back to be, be straight, but not obviously as straight as it can be you know following its natural curves and that is the best position to meditate i mean when i'm in this position i can sit easily for an hour or longer um it takes practice it was a bit hard on the knees at first it took a while but i i do encourage you and, and invite you to sort of persevere with it and play around with different postures and find what works for you and take time as well you know to just Slunk yourself down right meditating you know as you can see i've lit a candle some incense i've got some flowers and a little buddha rupa there so creating that space um for your meditation as well maybe if you've got enough space you you can have somewhere that's there permanently or each time you sit down to meditate creating that atmosphere and it, and that will enhance your practice as well so if you're ready you may close your eyes. And feeling the breath. Letting the thoughts carry on in the background, 
without judgment, without trying to change anything. And if you're finding that your mind is busy to start with, be patient. Be kind with yourself. Just observe whatever's present for you right now. Notice any sensations in the body, any feelings and emotions. any sensory perceptions such as the texture of your clothes, the temperature of the air against your skin, maybe you've got the sun shining on you if you're lucky, any sounds, and all these things help to ground you in the present moment by observing what's actually happening and not the mind's interpretation of it. And as you breathe, just breathe into any areas where you might be holding tension such as the jaw or the shoulders, breathing in slightly deeper and as you breathe out imagine the breath going to those areas, freeing up the tension, letting them relax. And as you do so, that frees up space and energy for creativity, inspiration. You might want to visualize the new moon. Sometimes it can be very faint and hard to see. But if you're patient, eventually it will reveal itself. Just like those parts of yourself that maybe you've hidden away because you were scared of not receiving approval or permission. And as you sit here and meditate, just allowing all of you to be present here. Nobody's judging you. It's okay to have your thoughts, feelings, wants and desires, goals, dreams. They're all valid. And if your mind wanders off, becoming aware of what's taken you away from the present moment, and reconnecting with the breath. mind 
just be saying, bring your awareness down to the lower parts of your body, to the legs and the sitting bones, and just feeling the support of the earth, just letting it take your weight. Breathing away any unhelpful thoughts or ideas or patterns to free up space for new ideas and inspiration. And they may not come immediately, and that's okay. We don't have to know the answers. This is maybe the first time that you've sat to allow yourself this time, this space, this freedom. And the mind might be resisting. Let's recognize that and acknowledge it with kindness. back to the breath as often as you need to. Grounding yourself in the present and reconnecting with the energy of the new moon and the eclipse. And all of nature which we are connected to, we're not separate from it. Noticing where is the mind right now? What's taking you away from the present? Becoming more aware of those habitual patterns and tendencies. As you get to know yourself more deeply. sense of calm and stillness to fill your body, to surround you, creating peace in your environment, starting from within. And allowing that sense 
sense of peace to radiate from you. Regardless of what's happening around you in the building you're in or outside, keeping that sense of centeredness and groundedness you come to the end of this meditation and go through the rest of your day. into the body and if you wish take a notebook and pen do some journaling whatever you decide I wish you well I'll see you again very soon please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I also share guided meditations on insight timer where you won't be interrupted by any adverts and I will see you again very soon in the meantime, take care, go well, and lots of love.